All right, just give me a moment and uh, I will be up. All right, so yep. we are going to showcase you a demo of Salesforce Experience Cloud and in which you're going to uh, see it live that how it exactly helps uh, the businesses uh, do things uh, with its partners, customers and employees. Let's have it. All right. Yeah. I'm ready. All right, so we have a uh, partner portal. Uh, not a partner portal. It's my bad. I I think I went back 2016. So yeah, this is a partner community that I'm showcasing. So this partner community is built for a company called as Electronics Way. So this company is a hypothetical company. It's not an actual company. So don't worry about it. So yeah, they, we have built this partner portal to kind of, you know, allow EW to kind of, you know, expose their, you know, products and have a partner help them sell those. So this is a partner of EW logging in and this is the view he would see. Over here, he can see the visitor, uh, the various you know uh, information about the lead conversion, uh, the open leads, the opportunities that are assigned to this particular partner, and the uh, you know lead ownership and the closed leads as well. Like VJ Sirvastav has four leads, retail user has two leads. So all of that information is visible. Then we have the capability of viewing you know uh, the lead inbox. So like this is a place where that particular partner can choose whether he wants to accept that lead or not. So if I click on it. I would be able to view the lead. So as I am navigating through them, you would be able to see, you know, like uh, this is a something similar UI that you would see. So that's exactly the same thing. So he can see the leads. He can, you know, definitely view the information. He can search certain information as well. So if I search Jeff, uh, I would be able to view that. Again, this is again a something similar kind of, uh, I would say, UI for you. So if I click on it, it would open up the lead. Again, so that's uh, one of the views. Then if I go to the sales tab, so this is a tab that we have created. Uh, over here, you can see all of his uh, assigned, uh, you know, opportunities and quotes that he had raised. So if I click on any of the opportunities, I can view certain information. I can, you know, make modifications to it as well. Let's say the, uh, let's say the I identified like this is not a new customer. This is a uh, existing customer upgrade. So if I make that modification i can do that as well so again that is also possible so as you can see the partner community gives us the capability you know uh, which allows us to you know collaborate and uh, kind of deliver certain you know information as well to better serve the customer to better sell the customer so if i go to the service section over here uh, any of the partner of ew can simply come in and create a case view a case and uh, see certain knowledge articles to help them out so over here we can see a case as well for that particular you know customer so we can definitely use that now if i talk about you know i want to also kind of showcase uh, one customer community as well that we have configured just for the demo purposes so i will be moving on to that uh, so this is a customer community that we have created and this particular customer community is uh, built into you know keeping the mind uh, keeping into the mind that we have we are creating it for a bank so we have uh, there are various topics where they have certain articles where customer can come in and you know simply read them or if they want to you know do certain discussion they can do that as well again all of this is very much configurable and very easy to set up if I talk about how easy it is to set up experience cloud community or how easy it is to kind of make modifications to it. So let me quickly take you to the workspace. Uh, okay, so let me talk about this workspace itself only. So as I talking as I was earlier talking about, you know, like we have the capability to do, you know, uh, make modifications. So the builder, which I will be showcasing right after that, then we have the uh, moderation where we can see all the post all the comments that a particular person has made, we can view it the content management where we can manage the content which content is being displayed how it's been displayed we can uh, manage that then we have gamification as i was talking it about earlier in the engagement section we can configure the gamification piece and use it uh, to our own advantage then we have dashboard which helps us identify how well the community is doing how well we are doing where we need to improve then we have administration where we can configure what are the things uh, like which which user to give access to which users to you know stop access of uh, what's the url what's the page name all of those things we can do then we have guided setup which is something you would use uh, when you are you know uh, initially considering the uh, experience cloud so i will quickly move to the you know experience cloud 
So over here, you can see this is all drag and drop thing. So like we can drag drop any more additional capabilities as well. We can choose, you know, to delete it as well. So I will try to add a certain uh, capability. So let's say I want to add a tableau view. So I can simply drag and drop it. So that thing only will add it. Think, um, just let me check. Okay, it's not over here. Yeah, let me let me try to drag drop of it over here. I just is this heading? Hold on. Let me refresh it. Um, the page might have been uh, open for a while, so it might not be, you know, uh, acting efficiently. Just a moment. All right, yeah. So I'm over here. I will, try. yeah. Okay, so the component was added. Uh, so obviously, I don't have the W part configured, so it's giving me an error. But uh, this is how easy it is to, you know, simply do certain things uh, in Experience Cloud. We can do drag drop of certain capabilities. I will, I am again going to do a addition of the same. So if I drag drop it, it will be added. But again, I haven't configured it, so it's giving me an error. So like this, we can, you know, do our configurations. If I talk about, you know, a uh, little bit about uh, LWR. So in LWR, we have the same kind of drag drop UI, but uh, in that we have certain additional capabilities. So as I was talking about earlier, we have uh, expressions, uh, you know, we have a uh, visibility rules, which allows us to identify who to this particular component would be visible. So who this component would be visible to, I can configure it from over here. Earlier, we were used to do it from audience and page variation, which had to apply, which used to be applied to the complete page and uh, itself only, but we have this way of doing it. So yeah, this was the demo that I wanted to kind of showcase. Uh, I hope it kind of give you some value and same level of understanding of how we can do certain things. Just to uh, add on to on top of it, so the UI and the community that you are viewing is uh, only for the demo purposes. I'm showcasing a couple of more communities that are using uh, Salesforce Experience Cloud for delivering you know, either their sales service portal or certain additional capabilities. So this is uh, one of the companies that is using Experience Cloud where they have the capability of you know, multilingual, support or multilingual website uh, so we can have the language in uh, French as well and in uh, English as well. And then we have, have Spanol. Yeah, Spanol, yeah. So then we have the capability, you know, to uh, view the blogs as well that they have, not the blogs, but the knowledge articles that they have. So we can view them as well from over here and uh, the customer can simply use it for whatever they want to do. This is another of the, one of the communities uh, which is being utilized to showcase all the products that they sell. Uh, so like we have the capabilities of, you know, uh, uh, QDIG, we have uh, ready to drink, uh, carbonated soft drink, energy drinks. If I click on it, so it's a new drink. Now, this particular website you are seeing is built on uh, LWR, so you could see how fast it was as compared to the earlier one that I was showcasing. So, if I click on this particular product, it would op uh, open up uh, very quickly as compared to the Aura ones. So, yeah, this is a couple of websites that I wanted to kind of highlight. So, with Experience Cloud, you can create a lot of additional things as well. And you can create mobile applications as well. And you don't have to worry about anything or any kind of configurations you have to do. You just have to provide your Apple ID. Uh, you have to provide your Apple Play Store and uh, App Store, not Apple Play Store, Google Play Store and Apple App Store identification. Then the Salesforce will take care of all the deployment and all the needs of, you know, creating an application, making it live, making sure it's being updated can all be configured from within Salesforce. You don't have to do any additional thing on top of it. So yeah, that was the demo that I wanted to kind of showcase. Now let's talk about some industry based use cases of experience cloud. Uh, we're going to talk about different, different industries and uh, what all use cases uh, for what all use cases, the following industries can utilize the uh, power or leverage the power of Salesforce experience cloud. The retail and consumer goods uh, can create customer portals for self service account management and order tracking and for personalized product recommendations and targeted promotions. The financial services uh, can create investor communities for discussions, research and portfolio management and uh, can create personalized financial advice and investment opportunities over there. Uh, manufacturing industry uh, can utilize Experience Cloud to create partner and dealer portals for order management, product categories and support uh, for the same. And personalized training documentation support based on user roles. 
हेल्थ केयर एंड लाइफ साइंसेज हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल्स कम्युनिटीज फॉर कोलाबोरेशन नॉलेज शेयरिंग एंड कंटिन्यूइंग एजुकेशन पर्सनलाइज हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस कॉन्टेंट बेस्ड ऑन पेशेंट कंडीशंस फॉर हायर एजुकेशन स्टूडेंट पोर्टल्स फॉर कोर्स रजिस्ट्रेशन अकेडमिक रीजन